so beautiful. I'm gonna stay. Good luck. It's end times talk and i wanted to come at you with a video pertaining to some of the wild and crazy weather we've been having uh this past year uh you know it, it's absolutely astounding uh uh how much has been going on how, how many uh different events have been happening and how many events are being kind of predicted to happen you know that are uh in, in subliminal content within movies and in and, and different things like that uh you know they've been projecting a lot of devastation in in the news and 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 whatnot and uh, also, you know, the, I believe the weather's been being manipulated as well, uh, you know, uh, uh, pertaining to a lot of the different storms that have been happening. I, I do believe that the uh, government has the ability to manipulate the weather. I do believe that the government has uh, um, technology that can that can move weather and shift weather patterns that, that can move them around wherever they want and, and increase the intensity of it and decrease the, the intensity of it. And so, you know, I wanted to kind of make a video kind of uh, uh, talking about some of the things that, that I kind of see go going on and, and, and kind of put my spin on it. Um, you know, the, even in the Illuminati card game, they have a lot of stuff about the weather in it. And, you know, they even have this early warning card, which I find pretty interesting. It's almost like they're always telling us what they're going to do to us. <clears throat> so it only makes sense that they put a card like this, you know, in the Illuminati card game. Uh, you know, they also have a hurricane card and, you know, I've seen documentaries where people talk about how they fly up in these planes and, and add a certain chemical in the air over these hurricanes and they can make them more intense and, and, uh, even, uh, less intense. It's, it's absolutely crazy people. It's absolutely crazy. The things that they can do with technology and with, and with chemical agents and whatnot. And, uh, you know, it says right, they even have a card right here called the international weather organization. And it looks to me like a plane is kind of dropping a chemtrail that's causing a tornado. Isn't that interesting that there's a card like that in the Illuminati card game made back in the in the 1990s? Isn't that crazy? And, and of course, they have a, a tornado card. You know, they have a tornado card right here. And I just, you know, wanted to show you guys these. Uh, find them very interesting. They also have an earthquake card. And, and that's kind of what you know, stirred the pot to, to, for me to make this video was, uh, some of the things that are going on off the coast of, uh, the West coast here in America. Uh, and also some of the things that are going on in New Zealand, you know, the, the devastating seven plus earthquake that they had, it's, it's absolutely crazy. The, uh, 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 the things that are going on, the, the magnitudes of the earthquake seem to be increasing and and the amount of earthquakes seem to be increasing. Jesus said that you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. It doesn't say in the Bible, in the gospels uh, where Jesus is talking about these things. It doesn't say that, that, you know, God is doing these things. It just says that there will be earthquakes in diverse places. So I do believe that, you know, the, the weather, and, and, and I believe earthquakes is kind of a part of the weather in a way. I do believe that it's being manipulated. And, and, the, and of course, they even have an earthquake projector card. All right. They even have an earthquake projector card in the Illuminati card game. And so when I think Jesus was talking about in uh, uh, Matthew 24, where he was talking about earthquakes in diverse places, you know, there, there's uh, a, a fine line between in, in the rest of the Bible where it talks about God doing a shaking. You know, there's there's definite whenever whenever it talks about God causing earthquakes, it, it it's talked about as like a shaking. Uh, it's all throughout the Old Testament. And, you know, it, it's interesting how, you know, when God is doing something, it's kind of it's the, the terminology is different. But when Jesus was talking about this stuff, you know, uh, he talked about uh, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, but he didn't say that that he, you know, God was doing it. And so 
Um, uh, I do believe that, you know, cards like these two cards right here are, you know, showing that they have control of the earthquakes and the weather. All right. Think about that for a second, people. All right. And so I wanted to show you those cards. Another card that I find interesting and <clears throat> a lot of people are having dreams about, about, you know, uh, uh, tsunamis hitting the, the East coast and the West coast, even evangelists like Perry Stone. Uh, have had prophetic dreams pertaining to both coasts being hit by tsunamis, and they and they actually have a tidal wave card. Isn't that interesting? How they have a tidal wave card, people. And look at how big those waves are. They're massive. They're massive. And and you know, uh, it even comes down to they have a card called global warming, where New York is completely flooded. All right, completely flooded, and the Statue of Liberty is is almost completely underwater. All right. And I want you to look right here. I have a, a movie poster of the day after tomorrow and it has, you know, the, the torch that the Statue of Liberty is holding right there and it has the wave coming in and it's overtaking the Statue of Liberty right here in this movie poster from the day after tomorrow, back in the early 2000s, people back in the early 2000s. And then they put it on a card. You see what I'm saying? And then from what I understand, uh, you know, it's it's all over the hundred dollar bill. When you fold the hundred dollar bill the same way people do with the twenty to show uh, the nine eleven, you know, towers and the Pentagon and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of people say that there are New York style buildings with a wall of water coming behind them. Uh, it's it's absolutely crazy, people. That that you know how they pr pr projected this and predicted this to happen. Um, you know uh, where these tsunamis are gonna are gonna hit, and so. They, they even have them, you know, with uh, 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 the West Coast, you know, in, in the movie uh, 2012, they have a tsunami that's, that's coming into the, the coastline of California. Check this video out. See, isn't that crazy? They're predicting both coasts are going to be hit by tsunamis. Even in the even in the media, they're they're telling you they're going to do it. Uh, it's not even just you know uh, uh, prophetic dreams that God is giving people. It's absolutely even in the media and, and in television. Uh, you know that that they're going to cause you know a tidal wave to happen. You know what I mean? Uh, and and you know also I've heard of this technology that 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 Russia has that. They can detonate some kind of explosive device underneath the water and cause a hundred foot tall tsunami to go inland uh, uh, towards America. So I don't know if this is going to be some form of a man-made tsunami. I don't know if this is going to be God's judgment upon America for, for her sins. But I do know that, that both coasts are in danger. And I know that there's so many people all across the board on YouTube uh, and, and people that I've talked to that have had prophetic dreams pertaining to tsunamis or tidal waves hitting uh, both coastlines. And and so it, it's even in the movies, people. It's even in the movies. Uh, you know, they've just recently found this, uh, um, this area that's 80 kilometers off the coast of, of uh, Oregon uh, on the Cascadia Megathrust or what they call the subduction, uh, the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, uh, that there's an area where there is tectonic fluid leaking out of the earth, all right, out, out from the San Andreas fault line, all right, and, and it's basically lowering the tectonic fluid pressure uh, between the two plates, and that is going to cause stress and friction, all right. Now, this isn't predicting an earthquake, it's saying that there is signs that are beginning to add up you know in oregon we saw this volcano you know that started to kind of expand you know and the, the ground started to swell think about it people and now we're seeing this off the off the cascadia subduction zone where there's an area where there's there's tectonic fluid that's nine degrees warmer than the water around it that is coming out of the earth check this video out
Isn't that crazy? You know, uh, it, it's it to me. It's kind of like Dante's Peak. It's like it's like is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? And then, but these signs are starting to add up of all these different things that are going on that are kind of telling us like, hey, there's been bigger earthquakes in California than they've had in in a long time. All right, there's uh there's people there's Californians making videos that are used to earthquakes that you know they experiencing some of these new ones and they're like whoa this one's pretty big check this video out earthquake right now it's getting bigger oh man this is pretty big dude and i'm by myself at home and so see even people who are who are hardened you know californians who have been through you know, 30 little earthquakes, you know, or so in their life. And it's really nothing to them. You know, there's people that are getting sh shaken by the things that are happening uh, 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 in California. Uh, and, uh, you know, this thing off the coast, this uh, fissure off the coast of uh, uh, Oregon is is no different. It's a sign that, that something is coming in all throughout movies uh, uh, in, in the media. They're predicting earthquakes in on the west coast and in the majority of the time in these movies it's almost like california snaps off into the ocean it's absolutely crazy check these videos out several million earthquakes occur on earth every year one will forever change the face of our planet oh my god the earth will literally crack open I'm going down. this building's gonna collapse you need to get out now. Hurry! And so, see, in the movies, they're predicting that literally, basically, California is going to snap off into the ocean. Even in the movie 2012, the California itself is literally snapping off into the ocean. Literally snapping off into the ocean. Now, I have awesome friends that live in California. I have uh, some scribe subscribers that live in California. I have people who are, are part of this ministry that live in California. And, you know, I, I just love uh, uh, my my friends and, and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ in California. And I pray for them all the time and for their safety and that God will keep them safe uh, you know, but I'll, I'll tell you, these things have to be talked about, unfortunately. But something I did notice on the on the uh, earthquake card, all right, is this person is hanging off of a ledge, and it's like everything else is falling away and kind of into into an abyss, all right. And then, but right here, you see a, a, a water spewing out of a pipe, but that could represent the ocean, and then and then you have a yellow glow behind that water that could represent a sunset. And the sun sets in the west. You see what I'm saying? It rises in the east and it sets in the west. And this could mean an earthquake on the west coast. And notice how it's snapping off. All right. Literally snapping off and, and everything is dropping. Uh, this could be significant people on this kind of decoding this earthquake card. Uh, I do think something big is coming. But I also do think that, that tidal waves are coming too. That is something that comes along with the whole earthquake thing, and and you know people just have to kind of expect that. But the but the movies are are showing what they're doing to us. I truly believe that this weather and all these things, these earthquakes are man manipulated. The reason being is is because they're in the movies. They're putting it directly in the movies, like in the movie The Day After Tomorrow. They literally have tornadoes hitting L.A. In California, like, uh, it's almost like California never gets tornadoes, okay? It's just not that kind of climate, okay? <clears throat> and, and in this movie, uh, the day after tomorrow, you know, tornadoes are hitting 
downtown Los Angeles. And not too long ago, tornadoes were hitting California like crazy. Check this, check this footage out. Señores, me encuentro en la ciudad de Montebello experimentando un tornado. Sí, escuchó bien, un tornado, algo jamás visto en el estado de California. Es tremendo la fuerza de un tornado, nunca lo había experimentado en mi vida y les puedo decir que es... See, they're telling us in the movies what's going to happen, people. I mean, it's, it's, it couldn't be more obvious. And so I want to take things like this little... Uh, uh, gap where this tectonic fluid is leaking out seriously, you know, uh, uh, just like in Dante's peak, all these little signs building up and, and, and they're not really adding them up for us. You kind of have to do that yourself. Like as you're watching the news and you're seeing all these things unfold, you're going to have to start to add these things up, write these events down when they happen, you know, like, uh, Oh, this volcano expanded a little bit or, or this earthquake happened here because things are going to intensify. So we have to be ready for that. So uh, there was a documentary that I came across uh, uh, a couple years ago, and it's called Ca uh, Yellowstone is Just the Distraction. Cascadia is the big one. In this video, uh, Steve Quayle helped produce it, and you can get it off the Steve Quayle website. Uh, I don't 100% line up with a bunch of Steve Quayle's theological views, especially pertaining to the rapture. Uh, I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, but I do believe that Steve Quayle has a lot of good information that he's that he's resourced in, and I think people should check this video out. I do think that there is something coming to the West Coast that people aren't really prepared to handle, um, you know. And also, Steve Quayle released this book that's rather interesting. It's called Weather Wars and Unnatural Disasters. And, and anybody who is interested in what's going on with all this weather should pick this book up. Now, I don't, I don't have anything to do with Steve Quayle, and, and uh, I just enjoy his, his books and his, his uh, uh, radio shows and whatnot and his documentaries. Uh, but I, I can tell you right now, I just like this. You know, I thought that these were good. This was a good book and, and a good documentary. And I wanted to, to share it with you people so you guys could go check it out yourselves and, and see what it's all about. In a nutshell, we're seeing all these things unfold because the end times are progressing forward. Jesus said it back in Matthew chapter 24, where he said, you're going to see earthquakes in diverse places. It also talks about in Mark, where it talks about the sea and the waves roaring in distress upon nations with perplexity. You know, the sea and the waves roaring is a very interesting scripture because the word roaring that's used there is the word echeo, and it's where we derive the word from the Greek echo from into the English. That's where we get the word echo from. And anybody that tells you that they've been in a tidal wave situation or a, or a tsunami situation, that as the wave is coming in, there's kind of an echo. There's a sound bounce happening, all right? And, and so it's interesting that the sea and the waves roaring, echoing, echoing, and then we get echo from that. It's kind of like the, like the Jesus is also telling us 
that these tidal waves would come too. And, and, and they've been, you know, tidal waves have happened here and there. There's been some absolute disastrous ones. But I do think that there are some coming that are literally going to swallow cities whole. All right. On the West Coast and the East Coast. I mean, I myself, I grew up in Washington State. I wasn't born there. I was born in California. But I grew up for a while in Washington State. And I lived near Portland. All right. Near Portland, Oregon, just across the Columbia River Gorge in the city of Vancouver. In Vancouver, Washington State. All right, absolutely is below sea level and it's right off of the, the Columbia River. And so what happens is, is if you get a tsunami that comes inland, that's going to flood. That whole area is going to flood Portland and it, it'll all be gone. You'll, you'll see an entire city wiped out. And so, you know, people need to be prepared for what's coming. And, and so some of the things that I want to suggest uh, to, to do is, is maybe get get kayaks or or a, a inflatable raft of some kind something that's substantial that you and your family can sit on all right and i do know of a man that had a prophetic dream and he saw in his prophetic dream this this uh wave hit the west coast and that it came through the mountains that literally like it was up into the mountains a little bit like this this was some massive flooding that this man saw in his dream uh and i'll and i'll even tell you who it was perry stone all right. I, I like some of Perry Stone's teachings. I don't follow him 100 percent, but I think that uh, there's a lot of good stuff that he has to say. And I like to listen to some of his stuff here and there. But uh, he saw in his dream where people had taken flotation devices and attached them to coolers and kept their food in their in their drinks in coolers that they had to stock up on. He saw people survive this. Some of some of the people survived this flood. And he said they he saw igloo coolers floating with these people on this water. You know what I'm saying? So if there's flooding and you know, uh, uh, and and God is telling many many people like, hey, these things are are coming. I am going to do this. You know, God's people need to prepare themselves uh, if they have the financial ability to, or just go out into the woods, make a makeshift raft, go out near where you're at, make a makeshift raft and just have that. I mean, there's lots of things that you can do to prepare for a, a flood, but you know, God will spare his people. He spared Noah in the flood. He spared Noah in the flood so he can spare his people. You know, you're going to have all these people comment and say, Oh, you can't survive a tsunami like that and all that, but no, God can do anything. I, I don't believe you. I follow a YouTuber named Ryan Hollyall, and he has a lot of accurate weather forecasts. And quite often I hear him say things like, I've never seen anything like this before. How is this possible? And, and you know, many things where he's kind of shocked by what the weather is doing. But see, as, as, as a, a, a conspiracy theorist and, and a Christian, uh, you know, and being spoken to by the Spirit of the Lord and, and after doing research and and, and, and having discernment by the spirit of the Lord and, and being educated, you know, you figure out that they're manipulating the weather. They, they're manipulating the weather. That's, that's the answer for it. It's not some mystery people. They're manipulating the weather and they're projecting the earthquakes. They're manipulating the weather and they're projecting the earthquakes. So I want, I want people to be aware that this stuff has been spoken of for quite some time. This stuff has been talked about for quite some time. This stuff is planned out. All right, but it doesn't mean that God isn't coming in the future and going to bring judgment and chastisement upon the earth. It doesn't mean that God isn't doing some of these things as well. I'm just talking about we can't say that man isn't manipulating the weather because, oh, they are. They are. There's tons of chemtrails in the sky all the time. Right before the weather gets weird and does some kind of weird, crazy thing, you see these like, you see these like pulse patterns that happen in the sky like it's almost as far as the eye can see there's these ridges you know when you see that it's like a frequency is being cast from somewhere all right from from somewhere all right and and so what i find is is that like two one to two days after you see a frequency like that you see some kind of weird weather thing happen or when you see tons of chemtrails in the sky crisscrossing every which way something weird happens not long after that you know, we as God's people, we have to be vigilant. We have to be paying attention. Keep a little journal of some of the things that you're seeing so you don't forget because these things are epic. These things are biblical that are happening, people. Even even if God isn't doing some of this man-made weather manipulation stuff, he spoke of it in Matthew 24 that it would be coming. 
He spoke of it in Matthew 24, that, that, that there would be earthquakes in diverse places. And he spoke of it in Mark, where he talked about the sea and the waves would be roaring. You see what I'm saying? So let's let's pay attention to what Jesus has to say. Let's be in tune with the Spirit of God. Let's be in tune with the King James Bible. God has a plan for each and every one of you who are out there. There's a reason that you're thirsty for knowledge. There's a reason that you're thirsty for wisdom. There's a reason that you're thirsty for uh, 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 understanding of the things that are coming upon the earth. All right? And, and that's what I'm trying to say, people. Like, it, it's flat out like... We see this storm coming. We hear the distant thunders. We know it's approaching. It's just we know when when is it going to actually happen. Because God wants to use his people to have the answers. When chaos comes upon the earth, God wants to have prophets and prophetesses that are in place that have spoken it before through the Spirit of the Lord. All right, And he wants to use his word to show that he said it would happen before. So that way he can edify people and show them that his word is complete and that he can show them that his spirit is the spirit of prophecy. I appreciate all of you that have watched this episode of End Times Talk, especially up till now. I thank you for being a part of this uh, channel. I thank you for being a subscriber. If you are, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I love you all. You guys are a giant family to me, and I can't wait to be in heaven with you guys, and, and, and we all get to hang out and get to know each other. Thank you so much, and may God bless you, and may God keep you all. Don't forget to go out and change the world in which you live. Базируются на Тихом океане, а не на Атлантике. А это очень показательно, потому что не на Атлантике, а на восточном побережье США, то есть Атланти... в Тихоокеанском побережье США расположены знаменитые разломы Сан-Андреас, Сан-Бентенсико и Сан-Хасинто. И эти разломы, если они будут активированы, они могут инициировать активацию всего огненного кольца, огненной дуги, прошу прощения, Тихого океана которая включает вот эти разломы, потом идет тот же самый Йеллоустон, потом идет вулканы Аляски и Курильской, вот этой самой Аляскинской, не Аляскинской, а Алюбудской гряды, наши, естественно, вулканы на Камчатке, и потом спускается вниз до Японии. В первую очередь рванет вот эти самые разломы сработают, они обрушат все восточное побережье США, а во-вторых, может рвануть и этот вулкан. Калифорния. Калифорния, It's just hundreds and hundreds of miles of worthless desert land, which just so happens to be owned by Alex Luthor Incorporated. Now, call me foolish, call me irresponsible. It occurs to me that a 500 megaton bomb planted at just a proper point would, uh, would destroy most of California. Millions of innocent people would be killed. And the West Coast as we know it would fall into the sea. Bye-bye, California. You're a dreamer, Lex Luthor. A sick, twisted dreamer. Your plan couldn't possibly work. I'll admit there were a few problems. Adjusting the precise trajectory of the missile. Finding the optimum stress point for the fault line itself. Which, by the way, is uh, target zero right here. <laughs>